Howdy there. Uh, today I wanted to discuss the BX40 and its ability to switch from lower sideband to upper sideband, what that means, and how to do it. So basically a sideband is a half of a sine wave. So a sine wave has a top half and a bottom half, and the sidebands are top or bottom, upper or lower. So the radio has a mixer in it that wipes out one half and leaves you with the other. And that's how you end up with lower or upper sideband. The, the uh, mixer in the radio mixes two frequencies together. It mixes the 5 megahertz VFO and the uh, 12 megahertz BFO, beat frequency oscillator. So you have, that's called the intermediate frequency. So we take it 12 and 5, 12 minus 5 is 7. And so that's simple. You get, that's how you get 7 megahertz and that's lower sideband. So you're left with the bottom half of the signal. So to get to the top half of the signal, upper sideband, which is what we want, you have to change the VFO. Uh, it basically uses the mixer differently and it subtracts 12 megahertz from it. So switch the VFO. Remember, uh, we did, we're doing 12 minus 7 gets to 5. So it's 12 plus 7. It's 19. So if you produce a 19 megahertz uh, signal from the, from the VFO, that mixes with a 12 megahertz BFO on the other side of the mixer and gives you a 7 megahertz upper sideband signal. And that's useful, especially in digital modes. Um, PSK31 doesn't care about sideband, but JT65 and all the others do. So that's why we want upper sideband. Now, um, you, on my digital, or I'm sorry, on my uh, QRP Labs VFO, I actually have to go in there and change the offset. It's just changing a plus to a minus, or a minus to a plus rather. But on your Arduino, you'll have to do a little bit of programming. There's code online that shows how to do it. Not a big deal at all. And you can switch between lower and upper sideband or negative offset to positive offset VFO. The only modification you need to make to your BitX40 is to remove capacitors C91 and C92. And those are actually part of the original uh, VFO. So remove those and you'll be able to have both sidebands available to you. The only consequence that I had from that was a um, rather loud squeal coming from the speaker when I turned the volume down. Not sure what it's about, I'm still investigating. But you know we're experimenting here and that's okay. By the way, the squeal went, went away when I switch back to lower sideband. But on the upper sideband, it's something that I'm willing to deal with because I'm experimenting and that's what this is all about. If we didn't want to be experimenting, we could go buy a Yesu and, and have all bands and all modes, but we're having fun. So um, I use my camera to take a video of the changes and how that affects the signal. And um, I wanna show that to you. It was taken with my camera. It's not very good, but the information's all there. So I hope you enjoy it. All right, so we've got the uh, BX40 tuned to 7073, and that's because the PSK31 frequency is generally um, 7070, 7.070 megahertz or 70 to 70 kilohertz. But um, because we're needing to use it, listen to it on lower sideband, we're at 7073 because that's the three kilohertz we're trying to listen to. Um, because of the the three colors we're trying to listen to is on the is on the lower side of whatever we're tuned to. So we're going to flip it to upper sideband here in a sec. But just listen. You can hear the tone back there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my settings. On this is a QRP Labs uh, VFO. Real nice VFO, by the way. And I'm going to go in here and change it to a positive offset. Okay, now you can hear immediately that our signal went away. Why is that? Because we're not listening from 70 to 70, 73 now. We're on upper sideband. We're listening to 70, 73 to 70, 76. How to fix that? Oops, tune down. And now you can hear it. We are on upper sideband now with that simple, simple change and desoldering a couple of small, very small uh, capacitors. Easy as that. Uh, the mod, I will put, I'll post a picture to my website that explains more at mist.geek.com. That's M-I-S-C-D-O-T-G-E-E-K, mist.geek, 
dot com. So try to make that as, as confusing as possible. And that is an artifact I haven't figured out yet. I'm going to turn it way down and it tends to do that. So but it's an experiment. Nothing's perfect. 73 is to you. Yeah. Fun.